For centuries, stories of a large ape-like being walking erect have existed. Native people have passed down stories of these creatures for many generations. The first documented sighting came in 986 AD from the famous Viking explorer Leif Erikson or Eric the Red upon his arrival to the New World. Erikson reported seeing huge hairy creatures that walked upright and had a swarthy appearance. These ape-like creatures go by many names. In the United States it's Bigfoot, in Canada it's Sasquatch, in the Himalaya Mountains it's the Yeti, in China it's Yeren, in Australia it's the Yowie, and throughout South America it's Mapungwari. In North America, the stories and sightings began in Canada. It is believed that the first encounter of Sasquatch, reported by a non-native, came in 1811 near the town of Jasper in Alberta. A trader by the name of David Thompson found enormous footprints in the snow measuring 14 inches long and 8 inches wide with four toes. The word Sasquatch was coined in the 1920s by researcher J.W. Burns. He was investigating the legends of numerous British Columbia tribes and continually heard stories of encounters with man-like creatures. While the names used by the natives to describe these creatures were not the same, they were all very similar. Burns then gave the universal name of Sasquatch to refer to these hairy giants. The word was first used in print in a 1929 article in Maclean's, a popular magazine in Canada. Following its circulation, widespread interest was sparked in this mysterious being all throughout Canada. Just like in Canada, hairy, man-like creatures have existed in Native America folklore for centuries. The Cherokees refer to him as Stone Man or Hairy Man. The Shoshone tribe describes him as Cannibal Giant. The Sioux tribe calls him Big Elder Brother. The first non-native sighting in the U.S. came in 1924 near Mount St. Helens, Washington, when a group of miners claimed to have shot and killed one of these ape-like creatures, only to have their cabin attacked by the creature's stone-throwing friends. The miners packed up the site now known as Ape Canyon and left the next morning. Interest in these creatures really picked up in 1958 when a construction worker named Jerry Crew came across enormous footprints near his work site in Humboldt County, California. Crew made a cast of the footprint and a local newspaper printed the story with a picture of him and the footprint. The first sentence of the story mentioned the tracks of old Bigfoot. The story was picked up by other papers throughout the nation and the name Bigfoot stuck. Cryptozoology is one of the newest life sciences and certainly one of the most thrilling. It is the study and pursuit of those animals which fall into one of three categories. One, animals who have yet to be discovered and scientifically classified. Two, animals which are known but thought to be extinct. And three, animals which are misidentified. One of the main goals of this online course is to provide students with the most accurate and factual information available presenting it in an unbiased format so that students can decide for themselves if each cryptid, a creature of cryptozoology, is real, a myth, a hoax, or a misidentified animal.